Hi, this is Tim. Today we're gonna to talk about how to wire a three-way light switch circuit. And this question came out of our video on series and parallel wiring. And that's what I always say is put your questions down in the comments because you never know when your question could easily influence the next video in this series. So yeah, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and any questions that come up, put them down in the description. In the series in parallel wiring exercise, we went through this basic circuit, which is the same circuit that your household light wiring would have. In your case, the power source in the United States would be 120 volt AC, and you'll go to a switch, goes to your light, and then your neutral comes back around. In a lot of situations, like say you've got a room that you can enter from both sides, or say a set of steps where you want to light switch at the top and the bottom, you'll have what they call a three-way light circuit. Now, I don't really know why they call it a three-way light circuit. Um, there's three terminals on the switch that you use in a three-way light circuit, but it's actually a double pole, double throw switch with an internal jumper. And I don't know, I, I'm not, maybe somebody in the comments can tell me why we call it, because we also have four ways where if you wanted a fourth one, but if you want a fifth switch, you don't have a fifth way, you just use another four way. I don't know, all right, I'm getting off the topic. Mainly, here is your basic three-way light switch circuit, or a circuit where you have two switches that you want to turn on the same light. What makes this circuit, at least on the surface, seem very complicated is that if this switch is switched one way, you want to be able to walk over the other switch and turn the light on. And then you want to walk over here and turn it back off, walk back over here, turn it back on. When you get trying to work through it in your head, it can be really confusing. So we're going to walk through this exercise uh, using our PLC trainer. We're going to use switch three and switch four. Now these are actually three position switches. We're going to ignore this middle position. We're just going to have left, right, and that's going to be it. We're not going to use this middle position. But let's flip our trainer around and do a little bit of wiring. First, we have a wire going from the plus of our power supply to both the left and the right contact of switch three. So we're gonna take two wires and put them into the top right contact of switch three. And then one of those wires, we're gonna jump her to the left contact. And the other wire is gonna go to our plus 24 volt, which is the left set of terminal blocks. Then we're gonna grab two more wires and we're gonna connect them to the bottom of each contact on switch three. And then we're gonna take one of those wires and go to the bottom of one of the contacts on switch four. And I'm not gonna tell you which one because it won't matter. It's gonna be completely random. So just grab one of the wires connected the bottom of one of the contacts on switch four, grab the other wire and connect it to the bottom of the other contact on switch four. Now we're gonna grab two wires and we're gonna put both of them into the top right switch four contact. And one of those wires we will connect to the left contact at the top of switch four. And the other one we are going to take to one side of light number one. And then we're gonna connect a wire to the other side of light number one, and we will connect it to the zero volt of our power supply, which is that right hand set of terminals. Okay, so let's review what we have now. So we have a wire from the plus of our power supply jumper to the top of switch three, then we have wires connecting the other side of switch three to the bottom side of switch four. And then we took wires, we have a jumper wire from the top side of each contact on switch four, and it's coming around to our light. And then finally we have this minus wire. So we have a wire going here, coming to the minus of our power spot, completing our circuit. Let's flip our trainer around and see what it does. All right, so let's throw both switch three and switch four 
into the left position and our light is not on. So switch switch three to the right position and our light comes on. Switch switch three back and it goes off. We switch switch four to the right position, the light comes on. We switch switch four back and it goes off. Now the key to a properly wired three-way switch is we switch switch three on to turn our light on, which is like at the top of our step. We walk down the steps and we switch switch four and the light goes back off. Then somebody else comes through and uses switch three to go back to the left. Light comes back on and they go down, switch four, turns it back off. And that is how a three-way switch should work. And I really think if they would just explain this a little more and stop talking about magical carrier wires and actually teach this to electricians, I mean, it would, one, it, it would make that confusing part go so much smoother. It also make it troubleshooting a whole lot easier because I mean, yeah, there's nothing magical about it. There's no carrier wire carrying some signal. It is this basic circuit. Also, because I know it'll come up, if you have multiple lights, now we're back to our single two-way switch here, but if you have multiple lights, then they are all parallel. You do not series lights if you're wiring a house. So I hope this video has been helpful. It's a little off of our normal path, but it's actually a good exercise in that all switches don't have to be on or off. They can just be currents flowing one way, current flowing the other way, and diverting it for different functionality. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.